back again from the small workshop adventures here in just a nothing day in Dorset. <laughs> just just quiet. We had a big storm Arwin last weekend and uh, it was actually my daughter's and my son-in-law's wedding. So big weekend I've just had. I was dressed slightly different to this. I did say I'd go in me, me, uh, me boiler suit because I said me... Uh, the sawdust is quite expensive. In fact, it's very expensive. Uh, so I thought that that would be, you know, it'd be quite classy because I spent a lot of money on this sawdust. But no, they didn't. Uh, uh, that was uh, not a good idea. So my wife and everybody else said, they said, looking at me rather strangely. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this video, uh, just going to talk a little bit about um, hand carving. It's something I'm brand new to. Uh, I've done router carving over the years uh, and I've come back to it, but I've always wanted to get into hand carving. Uh, so I've gone and purchased myself a Japanese power grip five piece wood carving set to get me started. So uh, I'll appreciate any of your uh, um, comments any of your support and instruction uh, as to how I'm getting on uh, I bought them from Axminster Tools uh, bought them online they arrived the other day and I've started having a go but here they are lovely little set oh, it says and they're falling out hang on a second there we go and we can see that there and they are small for a nice little detail which I actually really like uh, I know you can get all sorts and it's something I want to really really get into so I'm going to sort of just be looking at them uh, working with them and uh, seeing how they feel but if anyone's had any of these and can give me some sort of pointers on where to go with this because uh, I love personalising uh, pieces of work and that's one of my USBs USBs USPs USP unique selling points for uh, things I do I like to uh, put personal touches whether it's add names dates things like that people can then personalize pieces of furniture so you know look at this how small that is. I don't know if you can see it would help if I go right to the camera really really tiny so but a lovely piece feel really nice to hold I've uh, been uh, got some stuff here which I actually am making a video, a separate video, but I've got some work here, a piece of work here that you can see that I've started. I don't know if you can see down there. So I'm just going to move the, uh, the, the camera slightly and you can see some of the butterflies I'm working on. Uh, I've, I've carved the word nightingale there. I've got some. Uh, some leafy plants that I'm carving in so you can sort of see what I'm doing I've got also there's other words and dates and things which I'm not going to show you all so coming back spinning round so I'm getting into that and I'm looking forward to my journey of discovery with wood carving and what I can create it fascinates me to be able to actually create some amazing pieces so that's where we're going with this and let's see how we go please uh if you can please if you can give me sir uh, any comments uh i'd certainly be happy to nice comments please or constructive comments to support me to help uh about where i can go with this all right see you later just in addition to my wood carving questions um i've got a nice how you sharpen how do you sharpen them and how do you go about keeping them honed and sharpened uh, I've got my sharpening and honing guide for normal chisels that's not a problem but just need to know the technique to sharpen wood carving chisels the chisels the grooves these all little small ones so would much appreciate any uh, advice on that on what to, I should be doing and how to do it thank you